The first problem I'm going to solve is the Slytherin column, number one. Um, it's in standard form. Okay. Don't make the way fun of the way I say Slytherin. Okay. I've never read Harry Potter, so. So let's look at the standard form. So we have y equals negative x squared minus 10x minus 23. Okay? Now I can identify a as negative 1, b as negative 10, c as negative 23. Okay? So the direction of the parabola is identified by a. A is less than zero, so that means it opens down. Okay, so A is less than zero, so it opens down. Now let's look at the y-intercept. Y-intercept for the standard form, we just pretty much pick it out. It's going to be C, so it's going to be zero comma negative twenty-three. So we have zero comma negative twenty-three. You can't graph that on this graph. It's going to be somewhere all the way down there. Okay, so trial and error method, it could work. We could try maybe one, we could try two. I'm going to just use the formula. I think you guys like the formula better. x equals negative b over 2a. So which means that it's going to be negative and I'm going to enclose my 10 inside the parentheses, the negative 10, 2 times negative 1. Negative and a negative is positive 10. Guys, always remember to put a parentheses in here. You guys just put negative 10 thinking that. That's just part of the B, but the equation has a negative in it. Okay, so 10 divided by negative 2, negative 5. Okay, so x equals negative 5. Now how do we find the y? Okay, we substitute it into our equation. y equals negative negative 5 squared minus 10 times negative 5 minus 23. So y equals negative 25 plus 50 minus 23. That is negative 48 plus 50. So that equals 2. So negative 5, 2. That is my vertex. Negative 5, 2. Okay. Now uh, my axis of symmetry is right here. It's a line and it has the x value of the vertex. Negative 5, 2. That's my vertex, and here is my axis of symmetry. Now, here is my vertex once again. Okay, now let's go ahead and try to find out two other points. I'm going to stay very close to that vertex, and I'm going to put in some numbers. Or oh, actually, I just need to put in one number. I am going to, since it's a negative 5, I'm going to put in negative 4 and see what happens. So we have y equals negative, negative 4 squared minus 10 times negative 4 minus 23. y equals negative 16 plus 40 minus 23. y equals negative 38 plus 40. That equals 2. So negative 4, 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and plot that. Negative 4, 2. Now as you can see, from the axis of symmetry to negative 4, that's only 1 to the right. So we know that 1 to the left is 1 to the right. Okay, 1 to the left right here, we're going to have that same exact point reflected up over the axis of symmetry. So that point is going to be negative 6. 2, our other point was negative 4, 2, right here. 
Okay, so now we can go ahead and graph our parabola. There it is. Good. Pretty green parabola. I'm done.